You know what the best part is about now of my Pokemon dying last episode, other than the fact that none of them died? Uh, I didn't have to do much editing, and I speak in past tense here, which is bullshit because I literally recorded that a minute ago, and I'm recording this episode right after it. So you can see same shirt, same, same everything. So let's go. Uh, <laughs> I think we can get a bike here now that we have defeated the gym potentially. I think that's how it works. And the bike, I don't think it'll be uh, like. Oh, we just. Wait a second. Bicycles come in more than one color. Of course. I mean, I can see two colors there in the back. Which color would you like to have? Yellow or green? Which would we like to have? Yellow or green? I'm gonna go with green. So now we have a bike. Are we ever going to use this bike? Very likely the answer is yes, actually. I was going to say, very likely the answer is no. Um, but then I remember the bike is actually just better roller skates. So we can... Is this a generation where we can have multiple items uh, bound to Y already? I think it is. Oh my god, this is so much faster than I remember. Holy crap. Okay, so um, row 10. We can actually get ourselves a new encounter here which will be do we have enough pokeballs i don't think we have any pokeballs we have five great balls and a dusk ball which won't be very good let's actually go get more balls that's not something you say every day is it imagine you having more balls also okay so last episode i had a topic of discussion which was the whole why are you standing there? It's just annoying. Uh, the whole, like, sprite. What sprite do you think about when you think about a certain Pokemon kind of thing? Uh, another 10 will be good. I think they'll also give me a Premier Ball, right? Do you get Premier Balls with normal Pokeballs? Huh. I never realized that. Uh, today, I don't really have something that, like, invites for a question, but I do have something else. Because a while ago I was talking about in an episode, I think it was a Pokemon episode. Uh, I love it. It's not a freaking water type, but I love it. Uh, I was talking about language things and how we, I think it was three episodes ago by now. Our language is nothing more than just sounds that string together to make words and then words that string together to make sentences. And then you have grammar in that and all that kind of good stuff. But that made me think a little bit more about this kind of stuff. Because there's actually, like, quite a lot of things in specific languages which don't happen in other languages. I gave the example of the G sound, right? The G sound um, is actually a very good one. And this is going to be probably a very, like, nerdy linguistics <laughs> kind of episode. So I hope you enjoy that. If not, just watch the Pokemon things on screen. The flashy lights and stuff, and it's, it's all fancy. Um, the G-Sound is actually a very interesting one there, because uh, it's one that a lot of like foreigners have difficulty with when learning the Dutch language, because we use G in a way that's very unusual in any other kind of language, even languages bordering us, uh, like German. Well, I guess our southern border is, uh, is Belgium, which also speak Dutch or Flemish, I suppose, um, but it's pretty much Dutch. And then right away France, which doesn't sound anything like Dutch. <laughs> because uh, that's not Germanic, that's a Latin language, obviously. Okay, so, uh, you are going to be... Yaroik. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, okay? I don't know. You're right. This is how I come up with names. I just start with a letter and I'm like, what would be nice to have after this letter? I'm already overleveled as it is. I'm going to try to skip trainers wherever possible. Um, uh, Team Flair, obviously I can't skip that. So uh, that's a thing a lot of foreigners have difficulty with. That makes sense, especially like 
people who are used to speaking English is most I've heard uh, trying to pronounce that kind of thing. And if it's just a G sound, it isn't that bad. And it's also why the Dutch accent in like that specific part uh, of the language, the G sound, is so recognizable. Maybe it's mostly recognizable because I speak the language and I know what to look for, but it's fairly recognizable um, when somebody that's Dutch speaks English, in my opinion. It's not what you're hearing right now, by the way. I don't have a Dutch language. Uh, I do have a Dutch language, but I don't have a Dutch, Dutch accent. I'm sorry. Uh, your steel fairy. Hmm. I guess Gerald. I'm sorry I have to use Gerald, but if you keep throwing steel taps at me, I have to keep burning you. Or melting, I suppose. Um, and then I also mentioned we have like the SCH sound, which is um, an S and a G. But I was thinking about that today, and that's kind of the topic I wanted to talk about today, at least for a little bit. Um, because we have two different type of G sound. We have a soft G, which is a lot actually like the G sound you have in the English language. It's like Gerald. Um, even well, actually, Gerald is more like a D and a J combined. Um, but th that that's a lot of like a softer G, right? Um, let's let's go big day. Uh, but we also have we also have that, and um, here in the south where I live, uh, the default G sound is a lot softer than up in the north where it's, it's a lot harder. But in the language, I uh, like historically. We have two different kind of G's, and um, you know how uh, in the word channel, for instance, you have CH. It kind of makes sense that that's pronounced channel, because we don't have a ch. Well, actually, it could be a T and then a J, right? But that sound is CH in English. CH also has a sound in Dutch. It's not a G. Why? I have no idea. That's not true, because I do. Um, the normal, like, the G we're all used to, the letter G, is actually representative traditionally. It's not the case anymore um, these days. These days, they're pretty much, like, just randomly. Some words have CH and some words have G. Um, if you listen closely, there is a difference, but it's so minute, a lot of people don't even, like, notice or recognize um, any rhyme or reason to it. But the G sound is a lot softer. If you ever see a CH in a Dutch word, that actually is supposed to signify a harder G sound. And as such, the SCH combination, which is one of the most difficult things... Mesprit, obviously. Why not? Another freaking legendary. Um, one of the most difficult things for foreigners to pronounce is a combination of the S sound and then the hard G. Something which doesn't go together to begin with in like other languages and then one of the sounds you're supposed to make doesn't even exist in most other languages <laughs> um so that was the thing i was thinking about and then i'm like yeah i'm uh, i'm not ha i'm not like eager to learn any more languages because those are the kinds of things that just drive me freaking crazy uh, because i i don't like it <laughs> i don't like it i I want to be like as perfect as possible when I'm trying to learn something new and that's why I'm like very not into languages. I speak English very very well obviously and uh, not as well sometimes as I'd like to but that's the same with Dutch. That, that's not like a linguistics thing that's just a my brain doesn't work kind of thing. Um, but I speak English just as well if not better than I speak Dutch to be honest. Um, it also kind of depends on the the mood and like the situation i'm in if i'm communicating a lot of uh things in english i'll start thinking in english and um i'll just I, i'll use a lot more english words in my dutch uh, vocabulary as well and the funny thing about that is actually if you pay attention you won't have your relegator or uh, crocodile die um the funny thing about that is if you take english words and then pronounce them in a Dutch way, oftentimes it'll actually be a Dutch word. But it'll be like significant. 
Significant is a English word. Oh my god, I just one quick attack will do. Uh, but if you pronounce that in a Dutch way, you, you sometimes have to know to make certain like changes to it. It's a Dutch word, and it's not just a Dutch word, it's actually a quote unquote intelligent intelligent Dutch word. Um Aerial Ace, that's exactly what I needed. Thank you. Uh, I don't need wing attack anymore if I have aerial ace, do I? It means literally just a better. It's literally just the same power, but it doesn't miss. Okay. I think it also might have a higher crit chance. I don't know. Uh, but it still is just literally better than wing attack. Wait a second. Wing attack is 60 power? I could have sworn wing attack was 40 power. Am I going crazy? I might be going crazy. I don't think Levian can do anything against me, is the thing. Other than try to put me to sleep. <laughs> you can do that. You very much can. Also, you can just keep using weak moves and chip me down that way and then Berta will die. I prefer you not to. Because when Berta falls, finally I'm gonna have close combat, which means I can finally deal with most steel types. So if there's not a freaking Heatran that shows up or a Dialga, I can actually deal with it. Um, let's use a potion here. Or a soda pop, that also works. On both you. I'm actually starting really randomly, but I really have a craving for like... I don't even know what I have a craving for. I just, I just want something like sweet. A little bit like, well, uh, maybe, maybe a little bit salty. Sweet, salty, bitter. I don't know. Do you ever have that? Where you have a craving for a certain thing, but you don't know what you're actually craving? Only like the rough combination of tastes you have? You want? That's what I'm having right now. I know the rough combination of tastes. I want something that's sweet and a little bit salty and a little bit bitter. But I don't know what the thing is that I actually want. And that is so annoying. <laughs> Because Pansia is the fire type one because it has the word seer in it. Yeah. You, you say I'm. It's the only one that has that logic, I think. The other, oh, Pan Pour is pouring um, water. And then um, Pan Sage is just the one that's left over. Right? Is there any like. Sage. Is it, it doesn't have anything to do with like the leaves, does it? Does it? It might. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> For me, it's just the leftover one. You've got Pansia, Pampor, and the leftover one. And then obviously, the same goes for um, this, the evolutions. It's just Simisia, Simipor, and Simisage. Though, I never use our evolutions because I never use the main ones. Um, and then... What are the odds that you have randomized a Pansier and a Panpaw? What are the odds? I should go buy a lottery ticket. If you also have a Pansage, I'm definitely playing a lottery ticket. I don't have an electric type. I do have a grass type though. I don't know why I was thinking that grass wouldn't be effective against against water right now. Maybe I'm afraid that it would have an ice type move, but definitely probably wouldn't, right? Because these things are actually like very bad Pokemon. Why did it... Uh, it's probably just frame rate. I was going to say, why did it just like slow down for a little bit and then go quicker again? But it's, again, probably just frame rate. So you don't have a Pansage. Still, even having two out of the three in a randomized run... Hey, look, this town exists, not for long. Well, actually, for quite a while, because it exists until the very end of the game. Um, and yeah, that, that, that's incredible odds. That's like... Yeah, that's 1 in 700 times 1 in 700. So that's... What is that? It's, it's pretty much 700 times 700, which is... 14,000? 1 of 14,000, is that right? Yeah. That's 1 of 14,000 that that would happen. 
Well, she had three Pokemon, so then that, that makes it like a lot more complicated to calculate. Um, we're not going to be through here today, are we? So we're not catching another Pokemon. Not that I need more water types, mind you. And that's all we, we seem to... I never noticed that there's actually no buildings you can go into in this town. Makes sense, because you wouldn't be able to access them afterwards. Yeah, that was someone... Um... So should I go after them? I don't think you go here yet, do you? That's only... Yeah, you don't go there yet. It's very obvious, by the way, that there is a door behind that. You're blind if you can't see that. So we just had to do that in order to establish that Team Flare operates from here for later in the story, and now we can actually go capture ourselves a new Pokémon? Wow, we can. After we get another Lucario cutscene. That's the third gym leader, which usually I feel prepared for, because I have a Psychic and a Flying type. And... Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I, I did just go to the Pokemon Center. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're level 25. Okay, so this is, uh, this is just another gym battle. This is literally the same battle we had last episode, but just with different Pokemon. I, st I still need a Dark type. I need a dark type very badly. Or a bug type, honestly. A bug type would work as well. You had an air balloon. Oh yeah, that's right. All the all the Pokemon also hold random items. A lot of the items probably you won't like match up very well with the Pokemon that are holding them. How didn't I realize that with the leftovers before? It wasn't as hurry with the leftovers. Usually trainer Pokemon don't have leftovers. Oh no 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 Buddha Oh you'll pay. You will fucking pay with your life. Definitely not going to the big D though. Um the bomb. Oh you I'm gonna make you suffer. Because I don't have a good replacement for bird, I know. I don't have a dark type, but I have somebody with bolt! Mm. Why do I keep forgetting that? I keep fucking forgetting that! It doesn't matter now. Well, having a dark type would be nice, especially with future slides. In this very specific situation, because I could switch out into something that's... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry for hitting the mic. Uh, that doesn't get affected by it. Fuck's sake, Burda. I'm gonna have to do editing. I don't wanna do editing. This is uh, insult to injury. I mean, I know Gerald can take care of a victory battle, but. Oh, it, was, it was fairly close to evolving as well. 40, uh, 34, I believe, it evolves into a Straptor. At which point it actually becomes useful. Just. That doesn't even take it out. And you would put me to sleep. This is not a good battle for me. This is not a good battle for me whatsoever. This is a bad battle for me. I don't like this battle. I didn't remember this battle was a thing. If I would have, would I have done anything differently? No, because I couldn't have prepared for it. I wonder if this team is the same slash similar to the team she's going to. What? Gerald! Don't do that to my Gerald! Okay, my controller's not working very well today. <laughs> uh, what what do we do now? Big D? Maybe? A Shadow Claw? This battle is going to be the end of my... Razor Leaf, that, that's neutral. I can take a Razor Leaf. How did that future side do so much? Is future side a neutral move? Doesn't it? It has like no type. Because when you use it, it's a psychic type move. But against Gerald, it was neutral. 
Is Daryl not a psychic? Oh, Daryl is not a psychic type yet. He only has a psychic type move. Shadow Claw, chip away. That's a chip away. You would survive that. Fucking furious. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this game. I, ju I just want to stop playing. Can I please stop playing? Just don't make me play any longer. I mean, if I, like, lose more Pokemon, I'm going to grind between this episode and the next. At least Seeking I can deal with with Frank. Um, I might actually do some grinding either way. Depending on how the team looks. I don't know though. At least we can fill in a little bit of uh, type coverage with. Uh, I think I'm gonna bring. What is it? Uh, Tarantrum? Is its name? I think I'm gonna bring him. Uh, because it's a bust coverage. I'll get a dragon type and a rock type. Granted, it's still not a dark type, which I would very much prefer, but I don't have anything that evolves into a dark type. And God knows that I don't need another water type. Um, if this keeps up, I might need another grass out there, which I prefer. Thank you for Midnight, because I'm just in my favor again. Halucha. Sarah? Your time has come. Not your time to shine, but your time to buy me some time. <laughs> I need... I need Psybeam to take care of this Halucha. There's nothing else that can take care of this Halucha. I need it. But for that, I need Gerald to have more than 16 HP. Because if Gerald dies, nothing bad happens, really. I mean, I can just replace him. Oh, you do so much damage. You, you can take so much damage. I mean, it's lovely. Um... Let's try to have Sarah use a secret power. Let's just see what it does. That, my good friend, Sarah, is pathetic. What does Refresh do? Wait a second, doesn't... Oh, it only cures itself. I was going to say. Doesn't Refresh cure your uh, team member's status conditions? It doesn't. Uh, it only cures your own. I think... Uh, oh, it's it's Ordino's ability to cure other people's status uh, affection. But that only works in double and triple battles, I'm pretty sure. So at this point, just hoping to wake up before I die. Which, without future... Oh my god, that does a lot of damage still. Uh, okay, so my monitor just died. Not not the one I'm playing on, the, the one on the camera. Um, it, it had been saying low battery for like a week, so... Is it a bit of a scummy tactic? Uh, no, because I'm going to run out of soda pops literally right now. <laughs> so, I got one more turn. It's going to run out of aerial A's eventually, right? Right? Just wake up. Just just wake up. Just wake the fuck up. I'm just waiting for this guy to get a critical. Thank you! Okay, now one shot him. You're a failure. That's what you are, Gerald. You're a failure. I'll have Bob finish this. Bob. It's the only reliable fucking thing I have in this world, apparently. I sacrificed a Pokemon, even if it was just Sarah, I sacrificed somebody to give Gerald the spotlight. And this is how Gerald fucking repays me. You have Roost. Which means this is not going to be so effective, is it? 
And then you have two more Pokemon after this. I am so fucking screwed. How much damage does this do? Give it. You take that so well. Okay, Halucha's dealt with. Two more to go. Two more to go. You're at level 30. You don't deserve the experience. Play screen. Fuck off with your live screen. You you go sit in a corner and think what it, about what you've done. You're a failure. Uh, Starmie is actually a bit of an issue. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not because I have a dark type move on Bob. Bob is, Bob is too good. Bob won't hit himself in confusion. I believe in it. I, I meant next turn, obviously. Uh, everybody hits themselves in confusion sometimes. <laughs> it's, but, but this turn coming up, Bob won't hit himself. Oh, he one shot deep. Okay, if you hit yourself now, you might actually kill yourself. So please don't. Ah, oh, that's not even a two shot. That's not even a two shot. I have to go into Frank, hope that I can live a move. Super Potion. Hope that he doesn't deal a lot of damage. Or have Ice Beam or something stupid like that. I don't think it will, because Stormy doesn't really get any level up moves. Because it's a stone. Oh, that's way too close for comfort! I have Super Potions. I have two Super Potions. It's not quite as much as I would have liked. How is this battle more stressful than the gym battle last episode? I'll tell you how, it's the exact same situation. Everybody's level 25. <laughs> um, but it's just not as much in my advantage as far as, like, you people want to actually face and go. That being said, the storm is the total dream. Please keep doing that. It only has Swift, apparently. Until it doesn't, then it kills me. Okay. One Pokemon left. Only one Pokemon left. It can still be, like, something that sweeps through my team. But it's only one. Cru Why now? I mean, it's still <laughs> you still could like throw out a Mewtwo. <laughs> In which case, I'll be happy to have Crunch. But if I wouldn't have skipped all those trainers, you know what? Bob coming through. Bob coming through with Crunch. It's very disturbing that Zato actually is flying um, as its model rather than standing to me. I don't know why. I always. I mean, it's a flying type. I know it has wings, but it always seemed like a flightless bird to me. I don't know why. Did you use Future Sight? Because we're not doing that again. You're dying. As I said, Bob is too good. Bob is not going to hit himself in confusion. Right? One more try. Me first? Why? Dos. Dos. Future Sight hits next to him, right? Yeah, it speeds me. Frank, not an option. Gerald, and Big D, not an option. The best choice I have is hoping that I'll live whatever he does and that Future Sight doesn't hit me. That he, or that he just didn't use Future Sight before. Because if Future Sight hits, I'm dead either way. Because I don't have any proper potions anymore. So I'm, I just have to hope that I can live this crunch. And that finishing the battle will prevent Future Sight from actually taking place. 13. This will kill. Which I think will end the battle and save Bob. 
My god! That was a battle. <laughs> that was a battle indeed. You evolved so early! That's level 30 you evolve. Which is gonna make Crunch even better. We made it. Bob is a Feraligator now. What we can see, it's just spikes on its back. It's not a Magnificent, but... As uh, Generation 3 back sprite would have you believe. We're not teaching you agility, fuck off! No. No, we're not. <laughs> Okay, let's go back to the Pokemon Center and uh, replace Berta and Sarah. I'm not very sad about Sarah. Berta... That one hurts. I'm gonna be honest. That that does hurt a little bit. Please just... Don't. <laughs> I'm annoyed, as it is. I'm going to have to do some grinding, so that means that I can't re uh, record the next episode right away. As a matter of fact, that probably means that I'm not going to be able to record this, uh, the next episode today. Um... Berta. Ah, uh, Sarah. Okay, so we are definitely... Oh! Oh! Definitely bring in Margaret. And then, I guess Tyron? Which doesn't have a nickname? Look at these water types. Like, seriously. <laughs> We've got a Dewop, a Dewgong, and a Floatzel. And now we've got a spaghetti. I mean a tank really. So next time these guys are both going to be... I think everything is going to be level 25... And up. These are... Mm, we have to go through a cave next time as well. And then after that... Maybe everybody will be like level 28. <laughs> or maybe everybody will be level 30. I don't know. Level well, 30 seems a little bit overkill, because the upcoming gym is, I think, level 27, 28, so... Level 25 might be a little bit low. I don't know when this guy evolves. I think it's about level 40. And this guy evolves at, like, level 20-some. So maybe if it's, like, 26, 27, I'll uh, grind up Margaret to that level and then get Tyrone on the same level as well. But until the next time, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed this slaughterhouse, I mean, episode. Until the next time, I'll be doing some grinding. I think this was a long episode as well. Uh, not as long as the last episode. I've been recording for like an hour and 20 minutes. Last episode was like 42 minutes, so this probably is like 37-ish minutes. That doesn't check out, I know. I'm not good at math. That's not true. I'm actually pretty good at math. Doesn't matter. Bye.